There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys. He's a bunch of bullshitter. Welcome to Sleepy Cast. Home of Sleepy Cast. Can I take your order? <laughs> I'm joined here with my friend Chris. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and my other friend, Niall. <laughs> was it? Yeah. And we're just going to have a wholesome episode. We're yeah, going to have an episode. We're just going to keep this one. A kinda, laid back kind of. Just, just friends. Just so embracing everybody. each other's company. Oh, so put on your headphones on. and. Corey, relax. grabbing your, your little fat tummy? You said something hey, today that on. I realized still happens to me. What? You said when you go down the stairs, your tits don't flap. I Mine still do. Mine stop you, doing you told that, that like, to Corey as well? I tweeted it. My oh. nipples do those weird things and like old. Uh, those old meet and fuck games for Newgrounds? Meet and fuck. Like the nipples move down whenever they fuck, but they're like the tits stay in the same spot. Yeah. That's what my tits do. It's like you, you've like your connected. Your nipples are like, they just slide up and down your tits. He's talking yeah. about the animation where it seems like someone's connected like an invisible wire to the nipples and it's just moving the wire up and down so the whole tit faces that one point. Meet and fuck was such a horrible concept. You like play a game and then you just, you click parts. So she's like, no. And then you find like her left thigh and she's like mm-hmm and then you rub yeah. it and then she gets pissed off and you have to rub her shoulder and she's like mm-hmm you just keep doing it you just like never heard where's the skip button? you never heard of me yeah no he's completely right it's like it always starts off where it's like let's get down to it and then like you'll click on her shoulder and she'll be like no and then you click on her other shoulder <laughs> like a she'll, real be like, girlfriend. she'll be like yeah yeah exactly you click one side she gets pissed off but you click the other she's totally fine who made these it. just some guy i don't know it's just like this most basic and was it like idea. a series yeah there was loads oh, I, I, I think i got horny to one or two of them are, I, there was like, like i got off are they like real Characters like are they characters? No, they're just anime. Like these like bimbo, old, flashy styled anime. Characters. Oh yeah, yeah, just. But yeah, it was always the same. It was always like you can't start with the pussy or the tits. You always got to start with like their arms or their thighs. Yeah. And if you click the left one, she'll probably be like. But why? You have to like massage them first. Or something? Yeah, yeah, the hand like rubs up and down. Yeah, oh. yeah, you have to move the mouse and hold it up and down. I remember playing a bunch of those flash games. This is a good topic. Talking about like old porn games. Yeah. You there's it's like this weird like USO. I don't know if you ever played that where it's like you you press a collect point and then you. You go down to like another point and you kind of like follow it it was like first of all it was the hardest fucking porn game i just wanted to see her panties and they're forcing me to do all this stuff just to move her leg it's like sex games in general are really weird oh yeah i remember there was this one and it was like an ad on porn websites and it, mm. they said they advertised it as the second life of sex mm. so i got it and uh in the like videos of it like there was like big demon guys fucking girl i thought it was so cool so i clicked on it and it was like it was nothing it's it just wanted my, like, it was like enter all your credit card details it's like, yeah. always like 3d ads it's just like yeah, it was like, like the I'm Vu or Imvu or yeah. I say that I am I had I, am Vu. I only had it for a day because I thought it would be cool like Second Life, but it wasn't half I as fun. I is malware. Uh, yeah, it, it was really just is. like malware. It, you can't delete it. It's like if you delete it, it's like there's still it's still open somewhere on your computer. I like last year bought a sex game. Really? Yeah, three D one. I thought it would be Were cool. Just interested to it? see what it was. Yeah, I forget what it was called, but it was like it starts off in this like white room, and then there's like a girl with really really cool titty physics like running in, on the spot. Cool. Her clothes are like are like ragdoll cloth. Yeah, and it had really really good collision detection so her, her like shirt wasn't clipping through her tits oh really i was like this is really impressive but, but then it when it got to the game it was like Wait, got, it was an actual game where you don't No, the whole point is that like you're supposed to paste these so you start off and you're like i just want to fuck people but you got to go through all this bullshit first so then when you finally get to the fuck and you're like yes but the game starts off and it's like you're in a gym and you're like working for some bitch who has huge titties <laughs> and she's like pick up all the cans off the ground and you're like fine but every time I did it, it it took like 20 minutes to walk from like where you pick up the can to the trash can and drop it into the can with the shitty fucking ragdoll physics <laughs> and then I got really fucking mad and I turned it off and I never played it again so you have to earn the sex in a sex game that's yeah. what it was back then those like there was these like really complicated sex games there was another one where there was a girl that was passed out on the toilet and holy fuck you, it was like she was put, she had her clothes on unearthed Niall's memories oh my I know. god Niall just he just like hit with all these Dude, numbers and I remember, letters. Oh, oh my god I remember this game I got and it was called like Jenna Jameson's porn game or something uh, Oh my god, I remember get, getting it on LimeWire, and uh, Janet Jameson? I put it on DVDs, and I sold it to my friends in school. Oh, and, uh, you that's piracy! Game? Yeah, when I was like 14, that's and piracy, oh man, bro. I remember this, and then you could like, grab their legs and open them, and just, it's like, you're like a porn director in it, and you yeah. just take pictures, you, it, they're just basically just like, 3D models that you like, move around, you know what and I then like? you click fuck, and then it's just some really bad animation <laughs> guy fucking You know what I like about the game that I got, though? It's like, it was all really technically amazing, like the ragdoll titties and shit. If but, anyone can remember that game, please tell me. But it's the sound of effects were like recorded in a kitchen <laughs> so it's like you see this like really good 3d model but then you hear like noise come in like 
It's and like then a you'll cat, hear like, her go like, like oh! <laughs> <laughs> and the, the reverb will just like echo for like a few seconds. I remember you press like P for your like your dick to like fly up and it bounces in spot for like a second. And you press P again and it goes up even harder. Oh my god. 3D Sex Villa. That's what it was called. Oh, 3D I remember Sex that. Villa. 3D Sex yeah. Villa. That's what it was called. I didn't never Dude, had it, but I remember it. I got it. Stamper had that. He had a really high tech version. He's like, yo, man, I had to fucking yeah. hack Russian servers to get this fucking shit. I, I got it on LimeWire. And, and he, he fucking had like, he had. It was insane. I, I played it and I was blown away by all the options. Me too. Because they had they had everything. You could do anything and everything. You can make fat girls. You yeah. can make you can fucking you can make traps. You can make anything. Oh, you can make traps. Yeah. Uh, when I was this like one, this one was like because in my one you could have different only... scenes mm. and you could there was like specific created animated scenes where they would talk and be in position and stuff. Mm, yeah. But then there was ones that you could just rig where you were in a room and you had a million poses to choose. Yeah. From. That, oh man, that was so good. Do you know how much they charge for that stuff normally? How much? It's like ninety bucks for the game, Jeez. and like for like packs, it's like. But can actually, you? Like, no, I think it's like thirty dollars for the game. You get like a free trial, but the packs are like ninety dollars. Oh my god! And you get like there's hundreds of packs. It's like oh, sci-fi adventure. People will buy them too. Uh, Star Wars. You get all this shit. You know it's fucking. It's insane. like the Sims. You know what's weird though? It's like these like sex games are created by like small teams of people usually, right? Mm -hmm. But they've got like the most amazing like physics and oh, like absolutely. they're super stable and they, they're like yeah. you know technically impressive and shit oh, yeah. and all these big budget games don't have any of the features that these games like I don't mean the sex parts I mean like the actual physics the engines physics, yeah. it's like why don't they fucking do, like incorporate some of this in the real games where it's like you run up to someone just like rip their fucking clothes off and tear it and throw it on the ground and, like, like, hey, just angry. do that in real life like, you ever notice that all these new games are so fucking bland it's just the same sandbox like you're in a I city did. where like people don't really do anything except get mad at you for no reason and push you and then keep walking it's like why can't you just run up to people and like I don't know fucking rip their shirt off and throw it on the ground and have them get mad great theft auto <laughs> I don't mean you rape pull them. people out of your cars. You fuck. I mean, this would be cool if that like, would be. Hey, you hearing that 3D sex villain? What I'm, I'm not talking about no, rape. I'm, I'm saying. I'm talking about. That's what I would do. I'm talking. I would go to a woman reading a paper. I would push her over and pull her fucking no, shit but, off. Like, do you, do you not find yourself playing games? Like, I remember like there was games like on a computer where like there'd be curtains on the wall. And you could probably rip them off. And you're like, <laughs> and you just feel cool doing it because it looks cool. And simulations are always fun to do. I and, love simulating. Yeah, games. like but no games ever off. use those. No, and it's like. like well, I mean, they do, but not cool. It's always just like a curtain on the wall that you walk through. It's you like, wish sweet. you had more options because it's like, and those are always kind of like afterthoughts for a lot of people. Like they need a room, so they throw in some, they put in some squares and then color it later yeah. into like a clock or something. Mm. But it's like you would just want to go up to it and just fucking like smash out a window or rip off some fucking curtains. The division just, like, is supposed to be good for that beds. game. Really? The division has like but shoot you know, glass. It like breaks the glass. Exactly. Really realistically. If you like shoot a bed, you want to see like feathers and that, shit. That fly happens, up. and there's still holes. Like that look like it, it that's looks real. what that needs to happen when you play. A Remember, game. like Oblivion, you could like go into someone's house and knock all the shit off their shelves and leave it on the ground. <laughs> you, you come back like two too. years later and it's still all broken yeah. on the ground. I gotta love that shit. And Oblivion, Oblivion is fucking broken as hell. <laughs> I know, but it's really fun it the way you can so do fun. that. Do you know the scroll trick where you can like spawn a million scrolls and then you? Can oh, you pull back on the arrow. Objects. You pull back on the arrow and you like double click on something in the menu and you close the menu and, like a million watermelons like appear. Yeah. Yeah. I did that in Skyrim except it with cabbages. Like, yeah. You press like P or something and then a cab just goes bark. <laughs> and then like you can do like millions like bark, bark, bark. That's yes, just so just fun. Out of the sky. You know why it's fun? It's because there's a million fucking watermelons clogging up a room and it's like a simulation and it just looks sweet. <laughs> the NPCs are still just like trying to walk to the door. Yeah, they're like, like smashing through them. <laughs> Like, that's Their past fun. Is not meant that's what I spent. Like, all these big fucking games like Watch Dogs and Grand Theft Auto, they have these big worlds with nothing to fucking do in it. Like, I know. I want to go to the top of a building and Grand Theft Auto drop a watermelon onto a car and watch it blow up. Is it, isn't fun. Just Cause kind of like that, though? Yeah, I, I, I just, just Cause 2 was way better yeah, than Yeah, I played Grand 2 in, in your house, like, uh, years ago. With Oblivion, me and my uh, brother used to play Oblivion, and that's all we would do. We would never follow the rules. Once we got out of the city, we went into the city, they are like, you gotta go to the tournament. And my brother's like, hold on, I'm just gonna make a bunch of scrolls and yeah. then make the, buy the sword. See, Oblivion is a <laughs> shitty ass game. Well, it's not, okay? It's shitty, but it's also brilliant. It's old. It's, it's, it's really dated, but it's dated, yeah. it had all these things you could do that were just so fun. Like, it, you, you could go to people's houses and, like, pickpocket them. And oh, yeah. It had you all, all these all different. That in Skyrim, too. No, I know, but Oblivion came out, like, 10 years before yeah, that shit. This is, not like, 10 years. Like, four. But Skyrim is, like, like, now, like, Oblivion like, has that, like, you know, that sky circle air box. Yeah. And, like, you're in, like, the little, still, you're in yeah. the city. Yeah, the silver. You can see, like, everything. Thing. It's very simple. I'm just saying, at, at the time when Oblivion came out, it did all this shit oh, that I had like never the first seen. One. It seemed really cool at the time. 
Uh, yeah, like, I down I got a new computer recently, and I downloaded Skyrim, and, uh, I just downloaded a load of mods, I didn't know what they were, just a load of mods, yeah. and then, like, the guy comes up to me and he's like, You've committed crimes against Skyrim and his people. Uh, and then, like, it- next, it just cut to him fucking me. And my character was on his- on his knees, and it was really slow, and it was like, he just like, oh, God damn it. So I had to, like, so I had to, like, I had to, like, look through, like, other mods, all the mods, to find that one and turn it off. And it, and then when I- and then when I turned it off, it broke the game. <laughs> so like it worked with like another. I couldn't play it for like a month. I, I, had to, I installed mods incorrectly without using the actual thing you're supposed to install it. Yeah, yeah. So I installed like 400 dick mods and titty mods and fuck mods, and I played a little bit, and my game would just crash and fucking I couldn't get anywhere. Stupidest shit ever. It's so dumb. <laughs> Why would a policeman get mad at you and then rape you? <laughs> Uh, that, that was like the punishment. Again. You have committed crimes against <laughs> Skyrim. Go to jail. He fucks you. And he just starts fucking me. Adam. Why would he bother saying that? Why wouldn't he just start it with was the race? My character was the Khajiit. It was like a cat, and it was just like it just looked weird, and the animation was terrible. Was, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, the animations are like I'm so stiff. It they're like, like yeah, they're just like one thing, and your character's ugh. just like. Do you remember when that when people were hacking GTA Online and people were doing news reports about it, where they're like, people can virtually rape you, and then you just see. Like it's very realistic and graphic, and you just see like this fucking GTA character like clip behind the guy really shittily. He's and, just like, following. Bend him. over shittily and just like clip into him over and over. He's just like a cone and, and shit. And these girls yeah, are like losing their shit over it and head. almost crying because they're fucking idiots. It was this heavy woman with like green hair, and she was like, "I can virtually rape on." <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like laying like, the car drives away, and he's still in the same <laughs> spot with a cone yeah. over his head while he fucks. <laughs> that was, the video was so funny. <sighs> I tried to mod the fuck out of Sims Three, mm. and I'm really I think Sims. 3 is really good. Yeah. I used to love Sims 3. They fucked Sims 4. Sims 4 is garbage. They, they fucked so much stuff up. They stripped it like down. Sims 3 had a lot of like really crazy sex mods. <laughs> you would go like, okay, like, you know, suck my dick. She'd go down there and she'd like, could take the dick. She'd be like, <laughs> yeah. Man, when I was like, <laughs> it's not made by really When I was like 12, I had the Sims 1 and I figured out that, no, I had the Sims Living It Up expansion pack. Mm -hmm. And when I figured out that mod where you can literally pick up anything, you, you could pick up fire and put it on Sims. And, oh, yeah. But no, I figured out you could pick up the blur around the Sims in the shower. You could just move it. And then you can just look at their tits, but they don't have nipples or a pussy. They just oh, yeah. they're just yeah, like Barbie it's, dolls. It's just the but I got so fucking horny. Me too. Man. I know what you're talking I was, about. Like that was the horniest I ever was at that point. In my yeah, there's, life. there's a cheat what... where you can get rid of it. That, that, is that what yeah. you're talking about? You can pick up the blur and just move it somewhere yeah, yeah. else. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I did too. There's, yeah. there's a code for um. That the, was Sims too, I think. And, and no, it was one. I think oh, you do it was well. the Sims one where you you're with your mom and she's like forces you to get a job or you like gonna move out or something. PS2. Yeah. Yeah. That was the Sims. I didn't play that. That was the Sims one on PS2. I learned the fisheye code for that. Yeah. See people. Without the mosaics yeah. in first person, so I'd walk up to them really creepily while they're in the shower. Yeah, <laughs> just the Sims there. One on PS2 was Sims, fucking shit. Sims I hated One on that PS2 game. was basically uh, like a raped, like Sims 2, not raped. I mean, strip. Sorry. Yeah, no, Sims it was. 2. You couldn't even have two story houses. You're just like, look at my mansion bungalow. It's like yeah. a piece of shit. Terrible. And then when you try to build a house, it was just the most awkward, clunky shit. And it wouldn't let you put too many things on screen or it would crash. Yeah. Remember the fucking herbs? <laughs> <laughs> that game was the fucking stupidest. Hey, what's the herb? You never remember. Remember the fucking herbs? It's like the punk rock girl on the front. It's like when they tried to make Sims hip. You don't remember the fucking? It was the Sims in the Ooh, city, and yeah. the fucking the ad for it was. Oh Rest my God. started it, huh? <laughs> Rest <laughs> it started. Dude, that memory was at the back of my head, ready to leave. Fucking just... when I worked in GameStop, all we ever fucking had pre owned was yeah. fucking herbs and FIFA because nobody wanted any of that. It was the worst yeah, thing ever. <laughs> my favorite thing though was the Sims and hot dates and uh, that's what I was thinking. Professional working Man. where you can like actually go to like a restaurant and yeah. work. There and move shit and like while people are sitting, you can take them out of their chair and put them outside <laughs> the middle of the road. I had the Sims. Nice. I had the Sims living it up. The Sims uh, hot date. I had the Sims house party, which was sweet. Wait, oh yeah. It just the penny just dropped. Is hot date like kind of like the sex game? But you, like you could take your girl. It was when you out were, on I the did, town. Yeah, it was when you got the hot tub machine. Hot tub time machine. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> you <laughs> come back <laughs> with all your your friends from the all your comedies and fuck. You know what's really <laughs> fucked up? What? Someone had to remake that. Let's get it started. They had to remake that in Sim talk. For that ad. Oh, it was like shklump, that was, shklump, No, yeah, no, it was like yeah. best yeah. of star. Yeah. Yeah. Like someone got paid to do that. Someone wasted their life doing. Do you that. think there's a? They had a script, so you have to say ooshklump, open, open. There's or a whole language have, like, you have to learn. For is it real though? It's or a you, professional language. It is not. It is no, just that, no. They. I read something. When I was looking something up. It's made from like 18 different languages. It's actually like a, does that have structure? A cleric tongue that you have to learn in order to do it. That's why the, everybody like does it. It's like it sounds very professional when they're talking because they're actually reading 
specifically design words around this <laughs> oh, idea. Oh, that's why I was wondering if it was just someone like Chris who can just do it. Yeah, because if they were to copy an, a, a okay, language that. that sounded like something somebody would remember, people would be like, oh, it's, you know, it's German, it's, uh... It just sounds like really basic shit. baby talk. It is. Bula the dash, though. Bula, oh... Chris is really good. Yeah, I can No, it's that. not hard to be good at that. It's just, it's just think of the shittiest, most basic baby word. The only thing I word. think of is... Ba. La bu bala star boy stuff. Yeah, you're just going bala ha grab Pull it down. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is just being like, Yeah, that's like when you're constipated. Pull it down. You say Dashino when you want to go somewhere. How would a sim say, I want you to fuck me up my asshole? A piscina hoin. It's German. I can't. I do German as well. I just do German. This is not a hefe. I just go Heischken Stufen Teichen. Or if you're a sim, and you were about to, uh, get fucked. I'd be like, THIS JUDGE YOU SEE NO! THIS SEE NO MONEY OH! OH! AHHHHH! They can't just scream either, they can't just- Oh, they can, they can, but they just like, ah! It's like really goofy screaming. What's the meanest thing you've ever done to a sim? Like, did you, like, I was just thinking, oh. like, um, do you remember the sims living it up? Yeah. I'm not sure if you could do it in the first game, but when I had the sims living up, I placed fire on top of a little boy. So, like, you could pick a fire, like, no, th th this is how it works, right? You can either light your, uh, stove on fire somehow, but I never did that. I just- There was a, a firework toy that you can, like, make it shoot up in the sky, mm -hmm. but the second it hits the ground, pause the game, and it'll be a, for a fraction of a second, an explosion. You can pick up that explosion and put it on someone. And do they- They'll go on fire and really? just die. That's yeah. amazing. And that game freaked me out, because when I was a kid, um, like, the Grim Reaper would come when, when you die, and, like, it'll play rock, paper, scissors with you to see if you, you can have your life back. But mm. if you have your life back, they'd, like, turn the, the color of your skin green, so you're like a zombie. Yeah, I remember that. And I think they rename you, like, Zombie Chris or something. Yeah, I know. This is fucking weird. This yeah, and your really character's weird. not the same either. It's like. Did, did they take that out now? Like, I remember there was one point where, like, I remember this and it pissed me off because <laughs> there was these one assholes. Because yeah, I think it was the one where it's like, you know, living it up or something where you had to actually, like, go out and get a life and, mm. like, join people. So I had a family of, like, four people and I'm like, why do I have to put food on the table for these pieces of <laughs> shit? Because they, I couldn't interact with them at all. Mm. So I came up with the genius plan of putting them in a room and taking away the door and windows yeah. so they can't get out. Yeah. But these motherfuckers created a, a Looney Tune cartoon hole on the ground and jumped through really? it and jumped back out. <laughs> yeah. What, really? Yeah. And then they went over to the fridge and got a sandwich and I was so fucking mad. Because <laughs> he always sit there die. I check back and I'm like, yeah, you fucking your piss puddle, you little bitch. That's what you get for How fucking wasting that? my money. I remember you used to kill people by putting them in the, in the swimming pool and, yeah, taking, and the taking the ladder out. Yeah. That was another way, yeah. I don't know how they- it was a- it was a really bad game design, but they took it out in three, cause you could- if you die in three, you die, but you can become a ghost and- I'd usually just a build a wall around someone, now. like, just build a square around them so they're stuck and they're yeah. like, oh, oh, Something oh, oh. like really, like, <laughs> it was really, like, scary when the burglar would come. Remember that? It was. It was yeah. scary, too, when you can't do anything. Yeah. Like, you can't pause, you can't do fucking- you, you can't stop him. Wait, you can't pause when the burglar's there? You can pause, oh. but it doesn't help. You can't get up. Oh, like, man. your- your characters get up and they just sit there like fucking assholes, like, <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, no! Like, like, they, like they just like saw a fucking rat on the ground, and the fucking burglars are tiptoeing around, stealing your TV and shit. Is you didn't put up a fucking burglar alarm. That's something I eventually learned. Every time I make a house, I always have a burglar alarm. Yeah. Because it's like just important. Because wow. your Sims are garbage. They can't go up with a baseball bat and try hitting them. Actually, in Sims Three, yeah. you could attempt to uh, wrestle them. Yeah. And if you win, they, they're like, oh, I'm defeated, and then the police officer comes in and arrests them. Oh, weird. This is really weird. Why are we talking about the Sims so much? <laughs> we were talking. Talking about mods in Skyrim. I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's how you do conversation. That's how conversation start. I just wish. Uh, all I wanted to say was, I wish more games had new ideas. Everything just feels. Like, I agree I, too. I, I haven't played a game in a long time that felt. Do you remember when like Oblivion or when like something like Grand Theft Auto 3 first came out? It was like. This is fucking crazy. Like, when was the last maybe, time you felt that about a game? Maybe it's your, like, childhood wonder. No, it away. wasn't. It was, like, all this new... Every time something came out, it felt so, like, bigger and new. But yeah. now everything I, feels smaller. I've never really been to... When a game comes out, I've never really been excited for a game that much. I'm, I mean, like, I don't speak for, like, Shad, who's, like, an avid gamer. I, myself, am someone who plays games on rare occasions. Yeah. But for me, it's like, I recently played that point-and-click interworld game. Mm. The last time I played a point-and-click game was, like, a remake of Monkey Island. Okay. I love that game. Yeah. It was like the one where it's kind of like the almost Disney-esque or old Disney-esque I had style. that. I, I didn't get very far because... It was hard. I got yeah. it for my birthday. But it was yeah, really was fun. Game. And like the characters were really fun. And that's what the game is. Like, you know, it's a very fun point-and-click game. Very yeah. simple, very quick. Mm. And, and I was having fun with that. Um, but you realize that point-and-click games are like... There's specific types of point-and-click. There's like the ones where it's just like asinine. Like, okay, 
Give a monkey marbles. He'll throw the marbles at the wall, which will unlock a hole in the wall, which shows you the area where you get the stick, the specific stick you need to stick into a hole that you completely didn't see to begin with. And then you open it, and it opens up an open passage. Do you You're remember the like, old uh, Men oh, in Black? Okay. The Men yeah. in Black uh, point and click game from like 1998. No, I had a shit ton of point and click and like learning games growing up. Because like I said, I didn't have a gaming console. I had uh, a PC. I had DOS, so I had a lot of Windows games. I had Simpsons mm -hmm. Virtual Springfield. Man, you had all the stuff that as a child I wish I had but I couldn't afford it. <laughs> you were like, eh, no, I had Simpsons. the Simpsons Cartoon Studio and I had that Casper point and click shit that was horrible. I, I, uh, I think I torrented that when I was like 11. I had this game called Orion Burger that like made me really mad. <laughs> Because like I, it wouldn't work. I just I've, I had it since childhood, and then it would never work on any computer I ever got. And then I finally like tried using it again when I was like 16 on like my Windows Vista or whatever, and it still wouldn't work. So I smashed it in half. I remember <laughs> the same sort of thing. I had like a, a game that just would not play. It was a Lego game for PC. It would not play. It was just I, it wasn't it's scratched. It was torments you as a kid because you're like main condition. it's a game. It's a fucking <laughs> game, and it won't work. Yeah, no, it's, like, it's that's the biggest up. cock tease when you're a kid. Ever. I got it in a in a cereal thing. Oh yeah, and it the was cereal. It came in a plastic bag, and it was like, it was, at the time, it was really cool, and I'm like, why can't I play this fucking Lego game in my cereal box? This is bullshit. I got it wasn't on a little CD or anything, it was just a CD. I got this Pokemon 2000 game when the movie was coming out uh, in a cereal box, and, oh, I wa yeah. and I had the trailer, and I watched it like 400 million times, I was like, ah! Isn't it weird how excited you get over, like, getting games in cereal boxes? Yeah. I remember getting my Bionicle game in a cereal box, and really? lost my shit. I love the Bionicle games, you know, looking at it now, it was probably Man, a piece of shit. I paid... <laughs> I paid 64 euros for Bionicle on PS2. Dude. By the way, 64 euros at the time was like $100. Yeah, that's not that's And that is one of the worst games I ever played. <laughs> I was so fucking angry. And guess what happened? I went back to I went back to the store to sell it back. They wouldn't take it back because I took it out of the plastic. And guess what? The next day I brought it back, they had reduced it to 20 euro. What the fuck? Fucking ass. It's extortion. It was bullshit. It was bullshit. And extortion. You, mm -hmm. What was that one game? Like King James or something? It wasn't King James. It was like King's was Quest. That the King's Quest. Oh, King's Quest. King's Quest introduced the whole character walking from a point-and-click thing. It, it opened the door to everything when Zero <laughs> invented it. So everybody was making point-and-click games. Everybody. There was just tons of fucking point-and-click That's because they were games. easy to make. I remember there was this thing. There was a... Uh, this actually got popular on the internet. There was this Honey Nut Cheerios comic thing. Mm. It was like family-friendly things and people were like, oh, you put... you the, the best one is sponsored on the Honey Nut Cheerios comic thing. And people <laughs> were finding a way to take like the little stick with honey on it and turn it into a dick and put it in like the girl honey's <laughs> mouth and stuff and write words <laughs> Like combo and shit, and they were making tons of comics where he had like his little bee stick and he was rubbing on the president's ass while he was like, I like how everyone was like, this pointing. <laughs> everyone was using the bee stick. He just had all these like random, like he's like smiling like an asshole, ready to go somewhere with like his bee dick. And they probably only used the one that wasn't pornographic, yeah. like the one. No, that it was it. You would search like the feature, then you go to the ones that would be submitted, just nothing but buzzing his fucking like st stick honey dick. <laughs> it was the funniest shit, and it's funny because it's like you give people an inch, they're going to take a mile. Yeah, totally. You allow somebody, something gets popular, to create stuff, they're going to abuse it. I tried to abuse it when I was little. Of course little. you did. Yeah, I would see this and I would be like, I can turn that letter I into a cock. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I did the same thing for 3D Movie Maker. I did the same thing for all those other games. Your 3D Movie Maker videos were hysterical. They're so good. Oh, fuck. I, I had a ton. I just kept making a bunch. Like, I remember I had this one where um, I got it, because <laughs> I used to get ideas from online from watching people. There was like a, there was like that one like like monster roar thing that just like makes no sense. <laughs> And it was like this like that one fat ugly guy who like tackles him and explodes Yeah, he was like attacking a bunch of people who were sitting and they were like, it's very nice out today And then he'd come running in ooh, ooh, A bunch of them would come and just like they're like blood and shit were, like ah! it was just I love really that sound stupid. effect <laughs> Was it Nickelodeon 3D Movie Maker? There was another one that oh, did yeah, that the, the, yeah. I saved a video of my favorites of like a 3D movie I remember like doing Nickelodeon an movie Monsters like thing. Thing. I had the Simpsons cartoon studio that was the same shit Yeah, I had Except that as well. you click and drag him around the, the, the oh, I feel so bad. There was this kid in my class, uh, like, everyone kind of made fun of him, and uh, I befriended him because he had The Simpsons, like, movie maker. <laughs> and I brought him over to my house, and I asked him to bring it, and then I, like, never talked to him again. Speaking I, of which, <laughs> I was about to somebody? say that I was, like, one of the... I, I think I was, like, the first kid in Ireland to have Pokemon, the movie on... on like, of course Pikachu. you were. <laughs> no, because, right, we were in Florida right as it, like, came out on video in America, and we were going home the next day, and I was, like... I went up to the, the lady, and I was, like, is this out, or is this, like, a preview? And she's, like, it's out. Stupid. <laughs> I was just like, oh my fucking god! And I bought it on VHS, right? And I brought it back to Ireland, right? And um, I, I watched it, and I was like, 
that was the best thing I've ever yeah. seen in my life. And then, um, so I fit, fit, like, you know, The Den? Remember that show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was an Irish I, channel called The Den. It's it was like, like kids. Really, do you remember in between shows Nickelodeon, there'd be two, two adults with a bunch of kids behind them going, What do you think of that, kids? And all the kids would be like, Ah! Yeah, yeah, it's like that, that kind of shit, okay. right? Except it was like this guy in a red jumper and, which is a sweater, it was like this guy and two <laughs> puppets and they just like talk about the show that yeah, Red Darcy. Watch. So those guys would always be like, Pokemon, the first movie's coming out in four months in Ireland, and everyone's like, Oh my god, Pokemon, the first movie! And I was just like, I have it on VHS. So I went to school the next day, and I was like, I have Pokemon, the first movie. And I was like, no, you don't, faggot. I was like, I do. And then uh, a guy came over to my house, and he used me to watch it, right? And he was just like, he went back to school the next day, and he's like, he, he does have it on it. So then everyone started coming over to my house to watch it. Oh, so you were the kid who was used for it. Yeah, 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 exactly, right? I would have done it so, too. I would have been like, hey, man. <laughs> you were the Pokemon first movie kid. I swear, no, I swear, right? Everyone systematically came into my house day after day to watch it, and then the, none of them ever talked to me. Again. This is the first Pokemon, the first movie. It's let bygones be. Bygones. It didn't come out for like four months. I was like the king of school for like one month. That's really fucked up with like how Ireland is, where stuff doesn't come no, out. No, it, it, it used, to, it it used to be like that. Now it's pretty much it comes out like yeah, on the same day. I, I was always the kind of person who would be like, at a young age, I was like, a movie comes out, I'm like, I want to see if this is on LimeWire. It's probably on LimeWire. <laughs> then you just see like, see like, Sally gets fucked by dog, and I'm like, yeah, hey, it was always that fucking video. Not, it's not in here. Yeah. <laughs> I remember downloading a video, and it was like something really like innocent, and it, yeah, I think it was like Pokemon or something, and then like. It was this guy in the middle of a road in like uh, some Middle Eastern country with a rocket launcher. And he gets like shot in the head, and I was like, "That was the first thing I've ever seen like that." I was like, "What the?" You're like, like, it's it's not Harry Potter. <laughs> the it was secret. Harry Potter. I was trying to get. It was Harry what? Potter. I was trying to get. Yeah, Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> just like a guy getting his intro. Oh, and he's cut open. You're just like, I saw Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, little, that Russian guy with his head getting chopped off. Like, you go to school. school like, like, yeah. I saw Harry Potter. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> By your friend, like, Zion check it out. Open it's like a weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, the whole Pokemon situation where everyone starts coming over to your house, like, wow, my brother's cool. And he's like, recruit into like Al Qaeda. It's like, I'm in the Pokemon club. <laughs> I'm going now like, I'm in the Harry Potter club. <laughs> teacher comes into school, all the kids have like rocket launchers and missing jaws. <laughs> we saw Harry Potter! <laughs> they did his uh, experiment! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was really dangerous. You remember those uh, uh, what, Roman Romans? candles? Yeah. I used oh, to play yeah. Harry Potter in the woods with my friend with Roman candles. Man, fireworks fire scared the actual shit out of they, me. I would I, never hold a firework and light it. I ever. did, and it wasn't the smartest thing I could do. You know what we said? I think I told you this. Mm. I don't know if you were here though, we used to hold bottle rockets and throw them at each other just so before stupid. just before they shut off. So it'd be like, and hit my friend in the side of his foot. Oh my god, it was fun. Like if you see the aftermath pictures of kids holding fireworks, and like their their hands turn into like palm trees, kind of red palm trees. Yeah, it's fucking gross. Do you ever gross. see the, the tattoo you get when you get struck by lightning? Yeah, that looks. You cool. get like a cool spider web all down your arm. Just what, that happens when you get struck by lightning. Wait, what? You yeah, like, you're, a, like it, it leaves a mark of like yeah, the like lightning tattoo bolt, but of, looks of really cool. That's fucking awesome. I know. It's like I have the power. So like, now it's, it's really like cool. like you get a permanent like fucking like black lightning bolt tattoo. It, no, it's like red, but still it looks. Cool. It looks cool. Oh, and then people are like, Why, where'd you get that tattoo? Like, shocked by a lightning bolt. <laughs> Spill hot milk on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> Got third degree burns. <laughs> I'm gonna put the hot chocolate in the microwave. <laughs> I, that's, yeah, uh, if we're talking about tattoos, would you ever get a tattoo? I don't think so. I Me would, either. probably. Like, I'm the kind of guy who regrets anything. Yeah, I see, but mm -hmm. I probably would regret I am too. But I'm, like, I'm also stupid, so I'd do I'm, it like... Power to you if you yeah. like tattoos, but I, I think I would regret it no matter what. It would just drive me crazy I wouldn't get one it. on my dick or anything like that. No, I, 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 want, I have to see I that. thought, like, those sleeves thing looked really yeah. cool for a while, but now everyone... Like, now it's like a kind of douchey thing, so I... Yeah. If I was to get one, it'd be like, on the sole of my foot. It would be just a fucking ugly face or some shit. You just lift your feet up. Like, <laughs> <It's a thing. laughs> it's like, it's That'd that's, be funny. It's a good idea. But you can step on it so people can't see it all the time, even if you're naked. That's what people used to do, where they would like put their tattoos on their ankles so their parents couldn't see it because they wear socks all the time. Yeah, I do oh, know that smart. there's certain points in your body where if you get a tattoo, it fades really fast. Like I think if you tattoo anything yeah, on your yeah, finger, on your, your finger. blood will like carry the ink to the tip of your finger. Well, it's and maybe because you bend your fingers yeah. a lot, so like the skin probably. Kinda... Yeah. I always wondered why don't like dudes get 
hair tattoos. Yeah, I saw, you remember that bald guy? Did you see that picture? No. There's a picture of a bald guy and he got like loads of like, it looked like he has a shaved head tattoo. It looked like real. Oh, really? You can yeah. get a shaved head tattoo. Yeah, yeah, like you can make your head look like that you look just like shaved, you shaved it. it instead of it being like, uh, like Larry David That's bald. interesting. That's a good idea. It is a good idea. It look, it if you're balding, great. and it's like, why not? You can look like a cool <laughs> Jason Statham man. Yeah, exactly. yeah. What about piercings? Because tattoos and piercings. I had, I had piercings. Really? I want to get a piercing on my banjo string. Oh really? god, that so, would hurt so, so bad. So that when, when I have sexual intercourse, girls think I'm good at it. Wait, you want a Prince Albert? In a can. <laughs> Corey! Mm. Corey! That's my name. Mm. We're gonna look at some Twitter questions. <laughs> Twitter questions. <laughs> Heartless Arts asks, How do you connect and make friends in art, animation, creative communities? And what are the do's and don'ts? Oh, how do you make friends? I, I kinda know. How do you make friends in the art community? Yeah, yeah and what would you do and not do? The best way to make friends in the art community is to, at some points, reach out to them, but not be so pushy. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, if, if there's artists or any kind of art people out there, like, if I do something, I encourage that. Like, I totally enjoy when people send me art of stuff. I may not retweet it or like give it like grandiose attention, but I definitely will show my appreciation. If yeah, that's way. not kind of what she's she's asking, like how do you make other friends like-minded? Like I would say like- Oh, uh, like- If you see someone on just Twitter or DeviantArt or something, uh, leave them a comment or something and ask them, ask them a question. And then like, if you get into a conversation, ask maybe for their Skype and then they have other art friends and then you become in their group and that's kind I of- I think the right. easiest way, yeah, is just not be afraid and, and uh, message them, but don't be so pushy. Yeah, and it's usually through Skype, but just don't be- If the person doesn't want to talk to you, don't keep yeah, trying don't, don't, to yeah, force yeah, it. You'll find other that's friends. that's the worst way to- You'll always find art friends if you do art. Yeah, um, I've had a lot of experience with people who, uh, I open the door to them and they push their bags through and fucking knock me over and then set up shop. I've been meeting everybody on Twitter recently. Huh? Every yeah. single person I've met. Most people I yeah. Like if you're an artist, post your art, and if you suck, get better. Yeah, then do get it again. better. Yeah, it's like get, post your art still. It's like if you want, don't so, don't start fucking sending people art and be like, hey, can you critique me? Because it's like that's like that's next level shit. It's like what you need to do is be like, hey, I made some art. And if it's like, oh, cool, and like they respond to you, just keep doing it, but then, but then don't keep doing it. Don't keep sending a mark because they said a word to you. Yeah. You gotta find a fine line where it doesn't become too pushy or just too far away. Corey, you ever stay over at your friend's house when you're younger? And you're both trying to get to sleep, but then one of the blankets starts moving really fast and you don't know what's going on. And then you feel kind of a warm. And then a ham comes out. And, and then it suddenly stops and in. you hear him go... <laughs> and you're like, oh. I think he was masturbating. Oh! I don't think that's ever happened. No, that's never happened to me. It happened to me like two years ago. Really? My friends <laughs> Wait, never masturbated when I was say. in the room. No, I've never had a friend masturbate in a room. I feel like that's almost like something where it's like bro code. Like, you don't. Yeah. If, oh, it's, if, it's if you're friends rude. with someone, it is rude because it's like you're disrupting their peace because they might not, not go be like sleeping. five minutes without jacking What they should there? do is they should be like, you wake. The jerk off. No, you gotta think of it from their perspective where they're like, hmm, I'm pretty horny. Hmm. Or at least go into the I, bathroom. I wonder as you sleep. Hmm. Just, I know I'm pretty tired. I'll, just, I'll wait another five minutes. Yeah. And then they start fapping and you're I'll like, just, oh. just like take an object and throw it at you and be like, are you awake? <laughs> <laughs> if you say yes, I'll be like, shh, flip. Sleepovers are embarrassing for me because like when they keep talking to me and I'm falling asleep, I start oh, kind of saying like mumbo jumbo. I never had sleepovers. Really? I always had sleepovers at my friends' places, but I never had a sleepover where I was. Because there was nothing to have fun doing. My friend had all the game systems and all the fucking shit to eat and watch. Oh no, but it's just like when you find cool people. Like, we still have like sleepovers in Jack's house. Like, yeah. we're 25, like, in our friends. Yeah, I love sleepovers. My yeah. friend, he had the, he had a computer. Yeah. He had a Dreamcast, a PlayStation, a DOS computer, <laughs> and, uh... Sega Genesis. You ever notice that this is how sleepovers go? Like, I love sleepovers, but this is still how they always go. It's like, yeah, we're having fun, yeah, oh, let's go to bed, and you're in bed, and you're, like, one of you are talking to the other, and the other one's more like, yeah, 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 and then you're like, okay, but then you wake up in the morning, and if you wake up first, you're like, I don't want to go to the kitchen because the parents are in there. Yes. Oh, man, this sucks. I can't, I gotta wait, like, three hours for him to wake up. So you're just lying there, just thinking of something to do. And then they finally wake up, and then they're like, "Okay, I, I gotta, I gotta go do stuff. Bye." And like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And then you just get ready. That and it's was awkward, and then you're home. Horrible. <laughs> Sleepovers now consist of getting drunk till you until I pass out, <laughs> or get too tired to do anything. It sucks when you wake up it's, first. And it's you're way like, easier when you're an adult. When you're a kid, yeah, you you sit there, you're like, "Oh, you have all fun playing games and watching movies all night." And then the next morning, it's really quiet. You don't want to step on your parents, and like, like going into the kitchen with their parents is like the most awkward shit. Like, and oh, I, 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 I never did that. School? I was uh, too afraid to do that because I didn't want to see like his mom and like. 
like uh, even if you know them really well it's still just like well i'm i'm the guy who's up now yeah. all attention is now on you because they have to look after you and like yeah. nobody wants to be part of it that's what happens so basically kids don't sleep over yeah, don't have or you you look like an idiot lightning topic go oh, now where'd you get your hat uh, i got actually someone left it in my house and Wait, oh wow Corey, what's your favorite color uh, pink pink yeah that's a girl's hot curl pink. hot pink yeah. that's like Chris, that, that's, that's my favorite, favorite color <laughs> <laughs> I like color, you I, I like that like red with a slight hint of yeah, blue. That's yeah. my favorite color. Now, yeah. if a train is going exactly 30 miles per hour to a station and the other train leaves 5 minutes prior and okay. is going 5 miles under the speed limit, do they get no, wait, the do they limit? reach the train limit at the same time? <laughs> well, if the speed limit's 30 miles an hour, no they don't at all. It's I, 80 used, to, miles I an hour. used to fucking hate questions <laughs> like that in school. I never found those like hard. No, that's because you're a maths guy. So right, so that, let's say there's a situation unfolding before my eyes where it's like, oh no, there's a train about to crash halfway through between this station and this station. One of the trains is going 60 miles an hour. I'm not gonna fuck it. I'm gonna run straight to you and be like, no, nah, quickly. What's he gonna? What do you do? Because I wouldn't even trust my answer. That was gonna be like, oh, what's the speed limit? And the train's gonna fucking <laughs> blow up and crash into the car. <laughs> um, what's that? And then everyone's death will be on your shoulders now. Yeah, now because you didn't figure out the fucking math problem that your fucking third grade teacher told you. I Idiot. You could solve it. <laughs> The only one I remember is like... Your third teacher was on the train, you asshole. Good. The only one I can give me an F. figure out, though, is the one where it's like, Jimmy has two apples, Sarah takes one apple away. How much apples does Jimmy have? It's like, oh, I don't know, was... one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking genius. <laughs> Why don't we get those in fucking school? <laughs> <laughs> They're always hard. They're always like, uh, Samantha has to go to a party. She knows she needs to get so-and-so a gift. She knows so-and-so wants this gift. She only has money for this much. What should she spend the money on? She knows the direction she has to go is sometimes to save time, so she only knows has two stores to go to. It's like, wow! And then when you get Why don't you just <laughs> fucking not get a gift and just say, <laughs> sorry? But then what? when you get into high school, though, they change it to X and no, Y. Like, X and then you write the answer. You'd be like, that's what I would do. Like, What little... Corey's saying is, why can't more of the world's problems be solved with basic baby math? Yeah, exactly. Where it's like, when people are like, what do we do about the situation in Iraq? This is really fucked up. Corey's like, mm, you take away two apples from three <laughs> apples, you'll, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, just like, I don't know how that would ever happen. <laughs> it would, it would, okay? Take away one terrorist from another take, terrorist, then you, you take, have one terrorist. If you take two apples away from my pot, I'll give the rest to ISIS, everything will be fine. Exactly. See, you can use it for anything. You're being gunned down, you have a wallet, okay? <laughs> Person's like, give me your so you wallet. Think they're like, this you're is like, all we wanted. They're <laughs> like, give me, no, they're like, give me your wallet. And you're like, hold on. If I give you my wallet, you give me yours. Therefore, I'll have a wallet. Then you get stabbed. <laughs> if that oh, ISIS in Rwanda was three apples. Essentially. <laughs> what do you think they're so rowdy for? Yeah, they're like, they're catching people on fire, beheading people <laughs> on national television. You just give them a bag of apples and be like, no, you one apple and I go back and give it to your ISIS friend. So you have two pairs of apples. <laughs> well, like, I, I just know. hold it up in the light and see if it's a real apple. <laughs> And bite into it. Let's see if the goal's still a white of a red. Did you ever just write the answers where it's like, why does she want the apples to be? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah everyone. Like you try to like the throw teacher has for a, a big loop. fucking F. <laughs> you throw big for a loop. fucking F. That was like one of the most embarrassing <laughs> moments in my life. Was when I was really young. And the teacher was like, write uh, a two hundred word essay about what you did over the weekend. And I was just like, it was very, 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 very. And I still wrote very like a hundred times. It was like fun. And then I handed it, and I I thought everyone would be like ah, but all the class. Just looked at me like I was a fucking alien retard, <laughs> and the teacher was like, "That's really funny, Chris." And I was just like, "Oh my god, I <laughs> wanted to kill myself." Did you ever get in trouble and have to write you lines? Got scowled eyes. What? Did you ever get in trouble and have to write lines like Bart Simpson? Yeah, I had to do that no. so many. Fucking I, I figured things. out like that two pens together. It's the same distance from like the two lines of the copy book. They can tell so when just, you do that. Though. So I just I just taped like five pens together and just wrote like the lines, and no one ever knew. There's no way you can hold five pens. No, I taped them. I taped them together. Yeah. I know, but there's no way yeah. you'd be able to write. Good like can. that. Well, I, I did. What did you do? He taped I, pens together so he got the lines done five times fast. Oh, with chalk? No, no, Whoa, it was on pen. on paper. Like we had to do it at home. Oh my god, that's genius. Yeah, it was. It was a good my, idea. My Irish teacher was such a fucking asshole, piece of shit, dickhead. I fucking hated him. What did he do? He's like. Go home and write in 25 pages why uh, you must not uh, do blah blah blah. I forget what I did. It wasn't worth 25 pages of fucking. I am sorry for doing this. I mean, 25 pages. 25 Come pages. On. That is no joke. Five hours of work. That so is fuck you, fucking... you stupid fucking asshole. Nothing I did warranted that punishment. What oh, can you say for 25 pages? It was just basically like. Uh, I'm very sorry for whatever I did wrong, but it's just like, come on, dude, fuck you. No kid is gonna learn from you, like, fucking torturing him like that. that. I 
also feel like that's like really barbaric in a way. It's like you go to a, waste a kid of time. and you tell him, do a 10 page essay on why you're sorry. And then I'd be like, I'm very, 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 like, very, 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 that's the fucking head. The, the school I went to was like, you see kids like throwing rocks at each other's fucking heads and like scalping each other. And then he punishes me for some, like I was not a fucking bad, mean kid or anything. I was probably stupid, right? That was the worst thing I ever did. The worst thing. Is like go home and write 25 times why you did, you got something wrong in school. Fuck you, you stupid fucking Man, old school pink like retard. Weird. Fuck <laughs> him. Stupid chubby headed pink retard. He was pink. He was pure pink. <laughs> school is such okay. a like weird like, you know, did you ever hear of the Stanford prison experiment? No. no. It's like, uh, basically like uh, years ago they got like uh, two groups of people and uh, they made one random group of people prison guards and another random group of people the prisoners and they did it for about a week. And like what actually happened was um, the people who were just playing the role of prison guards actually became like su they had superior complexes like they felt like they're better than the prisoners well, no shit. they started treating them like shit yeah no but these are just two random groups of people oh they were just they weren't even prisoners to begin with no no they weren't even they were just random they were people just, it was just two random groups of people but that's what like school is like like the Didn't teachers that escalate just, like really badly yeah it started it, st it started becoming like a real thing I, I heard about this social experiment i was watching documentaries of like social experiments that go wrong yeah and that was one of them where the, it was like this abandoned building basically with just like two groups of people yeah where like the kids Kids were the teachers and the kids were also the students. That, that's what it's like though. The like kids the teachers, were teachers. Teachers, and they were teachers in school kids. have this weird like I'm better than you thing. And when you're a kid, you think they are because they're adults. Then when you, like when you grow up, you're like, what think, the fuck was that? I that think was... kids usually have a really good grasp of what's morally right by the time they're like 12. Yeah. So by the time you're 12, you'll know if a teacher's bullshitting you. And like if a teacher is bullshitting you and getting away with it, it makes you really fucking hate them. You can I... tell when a teacher doesn't like you because they're they're quick to judge you at any chance they get. Like yeah, there's little shitheads right and all that stuff. But when you're just like. Like, flat out just being a cunt. Like, kids can tell that, like, you, you don't have the smarts I fear getting in them. trouble, though. Like, if I got wet, got, like, I fear getting sent. Now I'd be like, The thing is, though, I don't give a fuck. You fear the first time you get in trouble until you get in trouble for the first time. The first time I got a detention, I'm like, this is it. And so if I ever got detention again, I'd be like, oh no. I had detention every every time it was on. Like, I, I, I got detention, detention once. Oh, of, really? Yeah, and that's what made it burn even more. It's like, I could have gotten the entire way through school without detention, but this stupid utter fucking bitch gave me a detention because some asshole talked to me. Oh yeah. Fucking hey, teachers. I got, I got a detention because... I went into class while everybody was quiet. I just got in from school. Like, I just came in. It was early. Yeah. And I'm like, sorry, I was late. I said that to her. And then she's like, detention. I'm like, why? And she's like, because you're talking. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay, what, how's that a problem? And she's like, you're still talking. And then she pointed to the board. It's like, don't talk. And I'm like, I, was... I just got in. And so she gave me detention. And she was adamant about keeping me after school. My mom even came. And she's like, that's really snaky thing for you to do. And she was like, still adamant to, to give me a fucking oh, detention. Man. That one time. My I, mom came to the rescue. Well, times, one time yeah. my art teacher threatened me with detention. It was, the st I think I told this story before, but that was the day my mom like, oh, it was so good. <laughs> Basically, I was like in art class and like everyone's ready to go home. My, my bag is on my back. Then the art teacher is, is a psycho fat bitch she turns around points at me like you threw a nail in my eye and i was like excuse me <laughs> a nail? Like, yeah and i was like no i didn't she's like detention i was like fucking whatever and i a like nail in her yeah eye? and i left i went out to the car and i was like i just got detention because my art teacher said i threw a nail in her eye and my mom was like Chris, you're such a fucking idiot. You're like, what did you do? And I was like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> and my mom's like, you're your little ass. And I was like, mom, go in there right now and just talk to her. My mom's like, for fuck's sake, right? She got out of the car and she came back. She's like, she's a fucking psycho. And I was like, I know. <laughs> and then she didn't give me the attention after. What happened? I don't fucking know. Did your mom she, didn't say. No, no, I got suspended a few times as well. Like I was like a. Class you were a mom. fucking I asshole. Know, I got suspended. I was a good kid. I was just dumb. I was good. Yeah. I got suspended because I got this new phone and it was the first smartphone ever. And I was so happy. It cost me 500 euros. I saved up for it. Yeah, I was like, away. I was like using it, and uh, uh, I was on a school bus, and it fell behind a seat, and I was like, shit. Mm -hmm. And then people were like reaching their hands down to help me get it. And one of the guys stole it, and uh, Fuck. some guy stole it, and I found out like a month later he stole it. So I stole his phone. Um, actually, the school knacker stole his phone and gave it to me, and goes here. Here's your, wow. here's your come up and I was like here, and I was like oh yeah I was like cool and then like he told the principal that I stole his phone and um, I got suspended he he was fine he was completely like let go I, I do not understand how suspension is a punishment oh, suspension yeah suspension is great well it's because of your parents the wrath you have to face the wrath Fucking of your parents who cares like you're still out of school anything's better than that we had mm. our suspension entailed us going to the sponge factory with retarded people we had to put <laughs> sponges in plastic bags this is real <laughs> what yeah did I say this on a podcast no. No. 
know. Our out school suspension involved us going to a sponge factory with retarded people, and we stuck sponges in plastic bags and then pushed what them through a conveyor belt. It's actually it's it's a miracle that you're as normal as you are. Like I, seriously, like your life is Imagine weird. You, you're just standing be between all these like pinhead dipshits. <laughs> <laughs> the, they're they're really trying to put the sponges in the bags. So they're like. Do I, okay, done. It's the most retarded sentence on the planet. I, like trying to put a sponge in a bag. Corey, like sometimes like you're like <laughs> so a randomizer dumb. machine where you just generate a sentence in English. This is say. it's fact. Okay, it was it was our it was out school. It was like I don't know what you call it. It's like after service or something for people, and they needed people because you know if it sounds rude, but when you retarded people put sponges, like retarded works on the factory line. Mm. They do their job, but they so they're usually like baggers or sponge workers. Yeah, and I was the person who gave the person the bag, the retarded the bag for <laughs> oh, the so sponges. So they're both <laughs> they're, they're retarded. Yeah, and he would take the he would take the sponge with this, this vacant look on his face. We just damn you. <laughs> you just keep doing that, and I just put the bag there, just fucking drag it across. Wait, the say that again, about, dude. The damn. <laughs> Corey, what if that was like your calling? What if the out of school suspension like opened up your eyes to a new world? The factory fucking burned down. <laughs> I'm with a retard in it. <laughs> <laughs> that retard was still trying to grab the bag. You can still there. hear that. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> It's haunted. You walk through it and you just hear. Oh, thank you. It was weird too because like when the lunchtime, when like it was lunchtime, it was lunch break. There was, a, there was a giant whistle that goes off, and then they go. Oh, they would all do like the wave. <laughs> <laughs> if you're those who didn't see Corey, just put his hands in the air. And good. They all go. Oh. <laughs> they wouldn't make noises. They just like all do this. They all do the wave at the same time. <laughs> right. And then they would go eat f their fucking sandwiches. Did they, did they all drop their? Go, go eat their sponge. <laughs> then they grab a sponge and start eating it. <laughs> He'd be like, get your own. <laughs> Corey, is this real? No, that part isn't real. But the wave and shit. Was the wave real? Let me tell you. Please tell me the wave is real. What? No, the wave is real. Yeah, they went to the eat food, but me and my friends, we were crying, laughing. We had to like, we were like hyperventilating by the end of it. And the people come in and they're like, because they thought that uh, the chemicals or whatever was like fucking with us. They were like, are you okay? Do you need to take a break? And I'm like, no, I'm fine. It sounds like a punishment at all. It sounds like, like actual, the funniest shit ever. Oh my god. You just sit in a chair with your friends Hilarious. laughing and had to go back. <laughs> it's, it's, it was a job. The teacher's like, did you learn your lesson? <laughs> yeah, it was for fun. <laughs> it was a fun fight. What are we doing? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's like, you look like the kid, the, the one famous retarded kid from The Ringer, but he was like more balding in the middle of his head. Like, it kind of like that weird. Oh, like, it was Asian. an actual Down syndrome. He was person. like 20 something. But yeah, there was like three. There was like a girl who had like a squished face, and then him who had like a big head. <laughs> this is too much, Corey. <laughs> it was funny. It was, I'm gonna die. They eventually changed it up because like the teachers started realizing what kids were doing. What they were, were getting doing? in trouble so they could go to the retard <laughs> <laughs> Their words that <laughs> they heard, they heard at school. <laughs> they, heard, they heard at school like these kids were laughing. We're like, dude, let's let's just beat the shit out of somebody so we go to the retard victory. <laughs> beat the shit out of the retard. <laughs> So they changed the game plan to picking up garbage on the side of a highway. It's so uh, like, it's so like, dude, fuck school, let's go to the retard sponge factory, it's so funny. <laughs> Everyone's just getting in trouble on purpose. <laughs> what was your guys' out school suspension? We had to go home. You yeah, go home. You, you, that's the th that's what I'm saying. One so day, oh man. It's like, you get off school, it's like, what? The, how's that a fucking And then they thing? give you I assignments was, when you come back, so you can- Your like, parents have to go to work anyways, it's not like- I was like, oh god, all the teachers hated me, especially the principal who was this- He, I think he got like in trouble for like something to do with stealing money or something, but like mm -hmm. he was a fucking beady-eyed prick, right? And he hated me. You guys have a lot of like beady-eyed, big yeah. face pricks. Oh, I hated this guy. And he hated me. Yeah. I had a note for why I didn't have my school uniform on. School um, uniforms? You have uniforms? Yeah, because I left it in my friend's house and I had a note written by my parents, and he, he said, go! Get leave the school now. I was like, I have a note. And he's like, nope, get the fuck out. <laughs> and I went out and I was actually thinking, of, I was like, I'm going to jump in front of a car and break my leg just so, so he will get it in deep sh I was so close to like, the, not, not to die, but like something like to break my leg or something just to get him kicked out. Yeah. I went into a, a internet cafe and just played Counter-Strike for like <laughs> five hours. And That's like, awesome. I kind of ditched school like quite a bit. Not to be like, oh, I ditched school. But, like, I ditched college. Loads of people used to do I, that. I ditched school so I ditched much college. just to go to an internet cafe. I never did. I was too scared.
because my dad works in town, so yeah. he, he definitely sees yeah. me. Oh, so yeah. I, I still have it. dreams sometimes where I just wake up and I'm like in class and I'm failing. And like, yeah, no, everyone has zeros those. in all your in classes. Your, in That's your, like d- mental scouring forever. In your dreams, though, is it still the present day? And it's like, I, I, you walk yeah, in and you're it's like, still, it's I haven't been my to school. Age. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I haven't been to school in six years. I am <laughs> fucked. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Everyone, else, everyone else is like, exactly. blah, 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 blah. and you're like, oh my god. I go into school and I'm like, they're like, here's all the assignments you have till the end of the month to get them done. I'm like, oh my god, I've been nine years late to school. Yeah, I was like, I'm <laughs> seven years, years behind in my uh, assignments. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't think school's for everybody by, by a long shot. No, no it's no. not. That's I why don't. you're allowed to drop out when you're 15. I think that's fair. You're allowed to? Well, in Ireland, yeah. You can do uh, FOSS courses, which is like uh, courses where like carpentry. And... Well, I didn't know that, but I wouldn't have liked any of the stuff that you'd be allowed to do anyway. Yeah, it's usually kind of trade Bullshit. work. School is like, it, it's like, it's supposed to teach you like basic social skills and stuff, but that's stuff you kind of At this point, learn. there should be like courses in schools that you can choose while you're a kid and if you don't like him you can fuck off the you can in course. England England is good because like you, you do three subjects and three that you like and that's it yeah. and you'd look into them extensively I would have just done art music and you, you can do that and then whatever England that's what I would have loved I always had to have like an elective like I always had to have an extra class even, even if I didn't fucking want it or need it so I'd have to be like Oh, you need communications because everybody needs to do communications. Oh, you need a health class or something <laughs> like where you have to learn about health. It's like I was like really good cares? at home ec. Home ec? Yeah, I don't know. I was just good at. That. I was terrible so, at home ec. That was like my thing. I couldn't sew. I couldn't cook. I couldn't do anything. I remember when I had to do woodwork for transition year? You know why transition year is just a fuck off, let me do what I want kind of year? Mm-hmm. Our woodwork teacher was a fucking idiot. He was just like, "You're supposed to be taking this seriously." It's like <laughs> fuck off, dude. No one, no one yeah, no one cares. Yeah, I, I was. I took that my eighth grade year when I was going to high school in like fucking a f- like next year mm. and I'm taking wood class and yeah. it's like by the end of the year and I'm coming in and I'm like he's just talking about woodwork and I didn't care I drew the whole time I liked woodwork I took it when I was leaving like I was in eighth grade I'm like this doesn't, this doesn't benefit me at all I'm leaving next year yeah. in like three months well, that, that's the thing right so in Ireland transition year is a year that is literally just so you can mature. You don't have to do anything. There's no exams. That's what it should be. It's literally just a year where, you, okay, so you do three years, right? Then it's like, do you want to do transition year where you're like, yeah, I need a fucking break after that. I'm, I was going to kill myself. So you take that year out just to do what Oh, you in want, Ireland, right? yeah, there's a, there's a fuck off year. Uh, but it's, it's optional, so you can do when what you're you want. 16. When you're 16. And basically, 16. what it's supposed to be is that it's like, yeah, just uh, experience life. We'll, we'll give you some things to do and blah, 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 but don't take it too seriously. That's what mm. it's supposed to and be. And they want you to like set up a business and just but get this, a feel for things. This fucking cunt was like, no, you need to make a birdhouse. So we we're just like, fuck off, right? <laughs> so every day I came in, I, I, I got my same plank of wood, and I just hammered nails into it for a whole year. So by the end of the year, it was like 2,000 nails and one plank of wood. He was just like, <laughs> By the end of it, he was like, you know what, you're a lost cause. And I was like, yeah, dang, straight on the lost cause. <laughs> he just spent the whole time nailing. Yeah, it was just stupid. I was either drawing doodles on a piece of paper or nailing the board. I made this insanely <laughs> racist thing in woodwork once where it was like, I, like, I didn't mean it because I didn't really get racism at the time. In Ireland, like, it's kind of different. But uh, I, it was this, like, black guy with, like, a huge fucking afro and you twist the knob thing and the, the basketball goes up and down and, it's just this black guy with an afro like that was in the basketball. antique store what you're talking about that like antique thing right no what I, you... something i made oh you made one <laughs> I, was that in an antique store no yeah there's those little, like i think they're called like picking any things oh yeah i made it like that but i didn't know it was racist at the time yeah i, just, I knew black people played basketball and i just yeah made, we, i made it out of piano mod magic me and you used to live, live next to the antique oh my store God. and it was the black thing in there oh can we tell that story yeah like the first day i moved into wexford that that was chris was like i'll show you around the town so Chris took me around the town. There was this antique store with a what, what? What was that instrument? It was like a trombone. Was it a trombone? Oh no, that was a tuba. It was a tuba. Yeah, a big, a big tuba. And Chris was like, ninety dollars. I'm gonna get that. And I was like, what the fuck? So we walked in, and then this guy was like, we saw all these like of those uh, gollywogs. They're called, I think. That, that was it. Piccaninny yeah. is a black child. Yeah. Oh, oh god. Or, or black uh, toddler. But we don't. We, uh, we don't mean this in a racist way. But no, like, they, they, no, these are just the terms we're explaining. Yeah, the, Sorry yeah, for uh, sounds and racist. And uh, if, for those who don't know, they're the black face with the uh, big red lips that smile, mm. and uh, the guy who runs the so I was like, hey, hey, look at these. And then, and then me, no, no, me and Chris were kind of laughing at them because they're so racist. And then like this guy goes, hey, hey, I've got way more up there. Yeah, he was, he was like, like bragging. He was like bragging about like. We were like, uh, no, we're like sir, really... you're, you're taking this joke a bit too far, <laughs> sir. We'll be on our way. Yeah, he was trying to lead you upstairs to fuck you. <laughs> He's using the picaninnies as a trick. 
It's an old wives' tale. You go into a, a shop store with black faces. No, what was some funny shit you saw living in the flat in Wexford? Was, oh man, look, just look out the window on a Saturday night. You'll see some people fingering each other. You'll see people screaming. It's, what? It was really funny. Fingering each other. Yeah, yeah. We, we lived on the main street of town, right above. Uh, right near a nightclub. So like, the, you'd see the people coming out of the nightclub, and you'd see people like over at buildings, like across the road, like fingering each other, and like <laughs> fucking just people make like smashing bottles and stuff, and like. Uh, oh my god, there dude. Were so many fights. No, it's so. So uh, every Saturday night, everyone would come out of that nightclub called Stores, and they'd all be walking towards Burger Mac, which is right across from our flat. So everyone would like stop at Burger Mac, and there'd be like the funniest shit. But so, like one night, there was a guy like fingering a girl like in the corner of the street, and I, <laughs> I was just looking at him because was, he was saying the funniest shit, and he, he got her titty out. But then when he was like done like fingering her, they were both walking away, and then her titty was still hanging out. <laughs> he was like, "You better put that back in." <laughs> she, she was like, "Ah!" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> there were people. I like, love living there. It was sweet. I loved living. I I miss it. Like I. Have, it was just too small. I have such fun. No, I remember reason. seeing it on a Google's map, and and then uh, Stamper, because he was like, "What the fuck is this?" And then I went in there, and he's like. Does he live in fucking Narnia? Why is this shit so small? Yeah, yeah the street is... Uh, you, know, you know what? It, you know, it seems like cozy, but when you're on a tiny cramped ass street with no fucking sidewalks, it's so fucking annoying. Oh, I still liked yeah, it, though. Because it no cars went down there. You just walk it. It was like the old days. There's the most depressing... Well, you know what? This is the most first-worldly problem ever, but I hate tiny sidewalks. It's Me like, too. Because you were just like squishing through people sidewalks. and dodging shit constantly. I didn't really notice. Oh, it's so annoying. It's, it's, it's horrible. Most sidewalks are big, like in the cities and stuff. They're like two sides. But like the small ones where they're against buildings, you're like, have like a fucking small one. Like there was one up there at the, the White House, so to say. Is oh, the old one? house that we had? Yeah, the old house. Yeah. yeah. Um, the bank, they're going up to the bank, there was like this sidewalk that wraps around it. It was puny. Yeah. And, it, and the building was fucking falling over on what one of the buildings was. So you like walk under and feel like you were like there's shrinking. There's barely any sidewalks in America. Like it's mostly road. It's hard to walk anywhere. Like this country is so designed for driving. It's it like, is designed it's nuts. for nuts. In Ireland, it's designed for walking. You were talking about also, I wanted to go reiterate that. You said something about um, you take a year off from school. Yeah. With us, it was like everyone usually took their senior year lightly, which mm. was the worst thing you could do because yeah. your senior year was your last grade. Yeah. Is that when for you me, SATs and stuff? That was when the test hit you hard at the end. I got... I passed high school with a B plus, Whoa. so I actually got a really good grade. But it wasn't because I was studying and stuff, it was the electives and the stuff I chose at the last year because I chose sociology, psychology, yeah. just a bunch of like stuff that I was kind of interested in because yeah. I like the psyche and I like sociology and I like psychology, so I was like, yeah, I want to do that. I can totally pay attention to that class. I was just doing what my thought my parents wanted me to do instead of doing what I wanted to do. My sociology, sociology teacher was fucking awesome. My mom and dad. I'm still mad at them. Why? They made me do business and not music. <laughs> business. That, that is the biggest grudge I will ever hold. Fucking oh, because business. you like, cause now you can't Because I'm still learning music to this day, and it would have helped me so much, but they were like, your dad runs a business, Chris. This will be easy for you. Oh, it's God. like, no. The only thing I remember from band is what a retard Ondo is. By the way, I love Who's my parents there? very much. What? <laughs> retard Ondo. <laughs> Who's that? It's when a note slows down as, he, as it goes on. It's like a bum bum bum. What's an arpeggio? Bum, bum. That's a doodle 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 doodle. What's a fellatio? <laughs> What's a a trill? Is it? Yeah, it's what flutes do a lot of the time. You can have a, a major thrill or a minor thrill, where a major one will be like, or a minor's like. We did a lot of trills. It's kind of like, oh, trills yeah. were really popular in jazz band because it was like. A stack is like a. Like staccato. A, you know, like in band, like there's also like whole notes. That's something I learned as a kid. Whole notes is like the, a four of count, so it's like. One, two, three, four, yeah. and then a half note's a one, two. That's literally all I know in band. That's <laughs> so the stain. It's a big uh, uh, you would you would see black you'd see like nothing but black notes, then you see a white note and you have to hold it. It's a sustain note. Music's great. Yeah. I wish I did music in school. Yeah. I would have really <laughs> excelled at it, I think. I like to the idea of making music, but I would not even know where to begin because I I don't know how to even do that bump, bump I don't know like. how to read sheet music at all. I can just play the trombone. Man, I think it. if you don't know anything about music the best place to start is a piano probably the easiest yeah. I always wanted to learn that I think it would be really relaxing when you don't even have to learn the piano just learn how music works on a piano and then you'll know how music works We're, I remember in band we always had somebody who would play the piano that was always like a big thing we'd have a piano guy or a piano girl and when the piano girl wasn't in it was just like the band was just fucking like playing with their turds they didn't know what they were doing yeah you need to like follow along to something yeah the piano was what everybody followed along so when you have your piano guy come in everybody like oh it's the piano guy! And he'd sit down and he'd be like, he'd be like, I do a little stretch. 
And he would like make really cool like jazzy songs. So I was like, oh, dude, it's the piano guy. It's piano guy. But then the piano girl comes in. She's like, bing. Like, oh, it's fucking piano girl. <laughs> Corey, this is a very strange situation you're talking about. <laughs> Nobody I, knows it unless you're in fucking band. But it's like he, the piano girl would come in and, and there's the trumpet girl too. You know? Oh. She, she, was, she was dreadful. She could not play trumpet at all. <laughs> she played the, the whole note. She always played into her fucking pussy. So she's always looking down when she played. Yeah. And, uh, into her pussy? You're supposed to hold your instrument up and fucking like, you know, sway yeah. and get into it. She was just like... But uh, you could tell she just signed up for jazz band to be in jazz band. She actually hadn't, she couldn't play. And in my opinion, if you're in jazz band, you should kind of have a pretty good understanding of what notes are and how music is because it's jazz band. It's like, yeah. it's not fucking symphonic band where nobody cares. We'd have one trumpet player who's like, you know, he's a great soloist. Hmm. And then like, uh, she would go and she'd be like, Dude, she'd like play the wrong note every time her fucking solo part come. So it'd be like, and then they go to her, and she'd be like, like a fucking air horn. And it's like, no. The teacher'd be like, higher, and she'd be like, and it's just like, now play other notes. <laughs> and he's just like, okay, next part. It's weird how some people just can't, like, it's, I don't think it's bad. It's some people... It's just like, how did she get into jazz bass? So some people, like, you, you can tell someone for like 15 years to do something and they just won't be able to do it. No, and it's, 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 it's no one's fault. It's just, like, you just see that a lot where yeah. someone's like, I really want to be an artist. It'll draw and draw and draw and draw, and it'll draw fifty billion times more than anyone you know. But they just still can't do it. I, think I might be like that with music. I don't know. No, you. Probably... I'm like that with guitar. I, I play guitar for three years, and I still just can't do Guitar's it. Guitar's hard. It's really hard. Yeah. Corey, play a song. Play a song. Play it. Play it out. Keyboard four. Okay, I'll, I'll do um. Take you good night.